Now let me go through the top 10 new requirements of the Food Safety Modernization Act. Again, uh, as I said earlier, the regulations, the specific requirements will be phased in over time. Most of the provisions for the new law require FDA to issue new regulations providing the details. So Congress passed the law in very broad terms. Now FDA has to come out with the specifics of the new requirements. Those, again, will come out over the next several years. Uh, point number two, registration renewals. Commencing in 2012, each food facility must renew its US FDA registration every two years. Between October and December of every even year, all companies that are registered with, with FDA will have to proactively renew their registration. Uh, facilities outside the United States, all of you foreign companies, will continue to be required to designate a U.S. agent for FDA communications. Point number three, increased inspections. FDA has been granted the power to enter food facilities and inspect and copy records. So they've been given a broader mandate to actually go into a food facility. It does not require, the new law does not require that FDA inspect all facilities, but it does increase the number of inspections and does require that all firms agree to an inspection upon FDA request or risk having their registration suspended and effectively their exports to the United States blocked. FDA is mandated under the Food Safety Modernization Act to inspect so many, a certain number, of foreign food facilities each year. In 2011, 600, approximately uh, uh, 600 foreign foods facilities uh, are due to be inspected. In 2012, 1,200 foreign food facilities, and then onward from there, as you can see. Now, in 2010, FDA only inspected 354 foreign food facilities. It's a minuscule number when you consider 260,000, approximately 260,000 foreign food facilities are registered. FDA got out and actually went into 354, so a very, very small number. Point number four, registration suspension. FDA, under the new regulation, does have the power to suspend a company's food facility registration if they believe that the food manufactured, processed, packed, received, labeled, uh, held in the facility has a reasonable probability of causing serious health consequences. Point number five, the new law gives FDA the ability to recall products. Prior to this regulation, FDA could request that a company remove products from the store shelf. Under the new law, FDA is empowered with the ability to force a company to remove a product or products from the shelf if they determine there is a public health uh, issue with that product. Point number six, uh, the Food Safety Modernization Act gives FDA the ability to charge the U.S. agent listed in the foreign, in the foreign facilities registration with any reinspection that they conduct at the foreign food facility. So again, FDA is mandated with inspecting 1,200 facilities in 2012. If they go to your factory next year, one year later, they return to re-inspect your factory because they found uh, 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 issues during their visit in 2012. They will charge the U.S. Uh, agent as listed in the foreign facilities FDA registration. They will charge them a fee to re-inspect the facility. And this August, under the Food Safety Modernization Act, FDA released the uh, amount that they will charge per hour for these inspections, or I should say reinspections. And the fee is $335 per hour for foreign inspections. So if FDA has to hop on an airplane and go to Cambodia to reinspect your facility, they will charge you $335 an hour to prepare for that inspection, to travel to your country to conduct the inspection. Uh, if they take any samples, 
the time that it takes to conduct the test on those samples, all of those are eligible items to be charged under the new law. Uh, there are also, uh, FDA has also been empowered to charge if they uh, have to oversee the recall of a product or if they have to go back to a, a port of entry in the United States and reinspect a product. So if you have a uh, shipment you've done, the labeling is incorrect, and you've asked FDA for permission to correct the label, and you have them come back to look at it again, they will charge uh, for that reinspection. And again, that bill will actually be sent to the U.S. agent uh, who is listed in your registration with FDA. So keep in mind, if you have your U.S. importer or you have a relative or you have a friend listed in your FDA registration, they will be held liable for what could be some very significant fees if FDA were to reinspect your factory. A reinspection can easily cost $10,000, $20,000, $30,000 for FDA to conduct a reinspection. So you should take a look at who is listed in your registration uh, to be sure it is uh, someone that you are uh, comfortable with to handle that liability uh, should FDA reinspect. Point number seven, uh, the Food Safety Modernization Act mandates that FDA hire more people between now and 2014. Um, and they have um, um, already, uh, to my knowledge, begun some of that process. Point number eight, uh, the Food Safety Modernization Act mandates that companies establish and operate under process controls. And although uh, F FDA has not explicitly said yet that this will be HACCP, one uh, would assume, and it seems quite clear, that the process controls will in essence be a HACCP-like uh, uh, plan that companies will be required to establish and to update for all food products, not just for seafood and juices as is currently required in the United States. Point number nine, safety verifications. Importers in the United States will be required to establish a program to verify the safety of all shipments of imported food. This is known as a foreign supplier verification program. So it's conceivable in two or, uh, years, a year, two, three years from now, when FDA releases all the details about this program, that your importer in the U.S. will say, I need you to give me more information about your products because I am enrolled in uh, and have to provide FDA with my food uh, safety verification program. Also, FDA will establish under the Food Safety Modernization um, uh, regulation a what's called a voluntary qualified importer program. And in essence, this is where the importer will tell FDA, uh, give FDA more details about the products they are importing, allowing FDA, in theory, to establish a kind of a green lane, an expedited clearance or review process for those U.S. importers who are under the voluntary or have enrolled in the voluntary qualified importer program. Point number 10, accredited bodies. The U.S. FDA may rely under the new law on accredited third parties to certify that foreign food facilities meet U.S. requirements. And these accredited third parties may be foreign governments, it may be uh, foreign companies or organizations. And again, I say maybe because FDA has not yet released all of the details about this, uh, this accreditation system that they are developing, but those will be released in the uh, coming months and coming years as they unveil all of the details of the new law. So the overriding theme of the Food Safety Modernization Act is if FDA can put substantial pressure on the U.S. importers, the U.S. importers will in turn put pressure on you as the foreign manufacturers to produce safe, quality food products. And through uh, industry-funded user fees, that will help fund 
FDA's uh, um, uh, enforcement actions under under this uh, this program. And lastly, the overriding theme is FDA is going to look towards uh, engaging foreign governments in more and more partnerships to help the agency with food safety. So details. Now, as I said, FDA has a number of months and years to explain all of the specific requirements, not just the broad generalities of the new Food Safety Modernization Act. How that process will occur is FDA will publish the specific rules uh, first as proposed rules in something called our Federal Register. You will, as a company, as an individual, as a foreign government, then have a period where you can comment to FDA and give your opinion about the proposed rule. FDA will then publish uh, either an interim final rule or they will go to what they call a final rule where the final details of all these specific points I've just laid out in these 10 top uh, requirements will be explained and, and uh, clarified for industry to then start actually implementing and FDA to start enforcing. To learn more about the Food Safety Modernization Act on the Registrar Corp website, registrarcorp.com forward slash news, we have these 10 points. We have them in different languages, and we constantly update as FDA releases new details about the new Food Safety Modernization Act. You may also, of course, go directly to the FDA website, and they have information as well. So in summary, I know I'm running over here, and I'll try and speed up here at the end. Uh, making sure your products comply with U.S. FDA re regulations before your first shipment to the United States is much, much cheaper than a single detention. If you think about the cost of a detention, of when you ship product and it's detained, again, the expense of demurrage or laboratory testing or having to warehouse product in the United States or having to ship it to a third country or back to your own country because it, it can't enter the U.S. Uh, or having to relabel the product when it arrives in the United States or the, the value of a good customer. Uh, when you think about all of that, it is far better to prepare in advance, get everything done, be sure you're meeting all of the various requirements. Obviously, there are numerous regulations, whether it's here in the U.S. or in Europe or in Canada or Australia, uh, but the U.S. does offer enormous market potential. And the things I've covered this evening uh, your products may not necessarily, necessarily need to comply with all of those requirements. There are some product-dependent uh, uh, um, items. Uh, so again, you may not need to worry about everything. So my best advice to you, stay informed. There are many changes coming because of the Food Safety Modernization Act over the coming four years. Invest the time and money. Um, to be in compliance in order to avoid expensive mistakes. Be proactive instead of reactive. Uh, Registrar Corp is happy to assist you in any way we can. We've been working with the APO and companies that are supported through various APO pro programs to help with food facility registrations. We do serve as U.S. agents uh, for uh, over 4,000 companies in more than 150 countries around the world. We help in submitting prior notice filings. We can help with labeling and ingredient reviews, low acid canned food uh, submissions, um, as well as if you do have products detained. In many cases, we may be able to help resolve that detention for you. And lastly, we're closely monitoring the new requirements under the Food Safety Modernization Act, and uh, we will keep you up to date on our website or through updates, which you may subscribe to our newsletter on our website as well. Uh, we do have a global presence. We have offices in uh, Vietnam, a representative office, a representative in the Philippines, and other countries, uh, uh, 19 other locations around the world. So please feel free to contact us directly in the U.S. office or through one of our offices around the world.